Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I ended in a uh, unusual flower swap um, through Country Creational Swaps on Facebook. And our challenge was um, to make, for as many people that entered, so say 12 people entered, you'd make 12 flowers. But they weren't your typical flower that you make. So if you're used to making a rosette, um, you were asked to try and make something different from a rosette. If you're used to making rolled roses, maybe you would go and uh, try maybe a fabric one like this or um, crochet a flower. Um, if you're used to paper craft, try fabric. Just something that's not your general style. And just look at the beautiful flowers that have come through absolutely gorgeous so i have this one here which is blues and pinks and it's all beautifully done with that from and that's from the lovely dd and dd's in the states look at this and it's got a little pearlized button on there and every piece is folded down and instead of it being all 3d she's made it all completely flat it's absolutely beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous styles. This one is from um, River City um, Creations on YouTube, who is Deborah. And look, she's done it on a mounted card with butterflies and glitter and everything. And she has loop crocheted a flower and even put leaves and everything on the back. It's absolutely stunning. So everyone really, really pushed themselves to make some a flower that they're not used to making and then we just put a little tag so we knew who it all everyone made so this was by carol cryer so lovely carol on the group and she's made a felt white rose look at this all oh, the layers that have gone into that and then colette has made a crocheted flower just look at this. I love the colour of the wall. Look at this. All the orange in it. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Everyone's showing all their different skills and everything. I've got a gorgeous pink one down here made by um, Angie, which is Angie Paisley on um, YouTube. And I've got some gorgeous flowers of my um, Tussy Mussy that Angie made me. So I definitely know this is not... Angie's normal style of, of flower. Look at that, it's beautiful. All the little gathered petals all put in together. And then this one is handmade by Pauline Mills. I'm even loving the tags, ladies. You really like done beautiful tags and everything. Look, there's beads in the middle. And then she's got the yellow onto a, um, an applique. Ooh. So you've got the applique, then you've got layers upon layers in this flower. Absolutely layers of doilies, material, netting in there. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then I've got a pink one down here. And this one was made by uh, Belinda, which is Belinda Coombs. And look at this, it's just so dainty. So it's such a fragile one, look at that. It's got the applique in the middle and the row, little pearl on the, on the front. It's just all gathered in and ruffled. It's absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> so everyone really, really just joined in, had loads and loads of fun and did something different. And this one is from the lovely Debbie Jones. And Debbie did um, a bouquet of flowers um, for me but instead of having it as a 3d uh, bunch that you could hold she um, on one of my videos you can see it it's an a4 paper and she drew the bouquet stems and then did the flowers on the top oh it's amazing and just look at the work that's gone into this all the little beads in the middle and the leaves she's even inked the card everything absolutely stunning so it just gives us some inspiration on different types of flowers that we can make in different fabrics um, 
and different um, techniques that we can use of gathering, layering, using wool, using felt, using lace, using fabrics, um, how to display our flowers when we're sending them to each other. It's just been really, really fun challenge to do. Um, and yeah, massive thank you to everyone that took part because this is like, it's amazing when you get a parcel like this in the, in the post. So um, yeah, every single one of these ladies, amazing, amazing flowers. Um, so I thought I would share them with you all and show you all of their work. I hope everyone's having a great weekend and I will see you all soon. Bye for now.